Ms. Pallavi Patel. She is the founder, member, and director, Center for Health Education and Nutrition Awareness. We fondly call it Chetna. She is trained as a nutritionist from our own department of foods and nutrition. Since more than 35 years, Chetna has been addressing the nutrition and health issues of women, young children, sorry, young people and children. Ma'am has showcased various innovative approaches and strategies to empower women and adolescent girls. She has designed gender sensitive health communication strategies and a wide range of behavior change communication material. Without taking much time, I would like to invite Ma'am Pallavi Ma'am for her presentation. I'll be uh, sharing experience of uh, Chetna in a social innovations in public health nutrition. Um, briefly, I'll talk about the organization which started uh, long back in 35 years back. When I was uh, myself, uh, Indu Kapoor and Manakshi, Three of us who have just graduated, finished our study and um, came to do something at a community level. And soon we realized that though we have been equipped technically, sound knowledge and everything, we really need to learn a lot from the community, you know, because uh, there was, there is no, we have no knowledge about how community think how community would like to bring a change. So the initial year of organization was of a learning organization and learning phase where we went all over the country. We went to Orissa also where we don't know the language also. We have done a lot of uh, awareness program. But that provided us the reality of importance of a social aspect of the health and nutrition. And today we are uh, working at two levels. We are also working as a resource organization. And we are also having an intervention programs in Gujarat, Rajasthan, and uh, Madhya Pradesh. When I say resource organization, we do a lot of training program. We develop training modules. We develop uh, health communication material for non-government organization and also for the government. And uh, we actively get involved in bringing the voices of community at a policy formulation and project planning. And um, we take this opportunity that, you know, people directly interact with the um, program planners and policy makers. So the realistic uh, policy and programs can be evolved. Chetna is... Uh, known for its training program, known for its health communication material. If you go to any state, you will find our material. And now they are available in various regional languages. We translate it and provide it. So this is in brief what uh, we are uh, doing. And today I will be sharing the experience of last 35 years briefly um, and with a specific example of our Madhya Pradesh uh, project, which, uh, which is designed to empower the community. Uh, this, what I'm going to share is going to be a collective wisdom, wisdom of the young women and men who had joined Chetna and they've also gone in a different uh, places Whatever they have learned, they are been you know using in their recent job. So it's not a one person's um, effort. It is an effort of more than hundred people. Yeah. So um, while um, going through this journey of thirty five years, you know, few learnings which happened, which I would like to share, and I'm sure people are aware about it. To bring any change in nutrition and health, the non-negotiable is empowerment of the community. If we don't empower the community by making them participation from the day one of your intervention till the end, you know, they should be a part of your planning, their monitoring and the evaluation and mobilize them. You know, you have to make them ownership of the project. They should feel that that's my work. And then only the project will or your 
intervention will be sustainable intervention. Also, we learned that if you don't partner with other development sector, sustainable change never comes in nutrition and health status because many of our projects which we have done initially, we have realized that after we come back, it comes back to the same situation. It doesn't sustain. So you have to get involved other development sector with you, which is very difficult. But I'll be sharing with you one of the model which recently we have uh, done in Madhya Pradesh. We also feel that we have to really focus on social determinants of health and nutrition, which talks about food security, education, health care. These are all the aspects we have to take into consideration when we address the health and nutrition interventions. So while all this learning happened, it, it really took a very long time to come and crystallize one intervention, which is bringing many people together. So uh, we, we realized that disadvantaged community themselves lead the transformation. You don't have to lead it. You know, they are there to lead their change. And one of the unit which we feel will be a very useful is self-help group. They are available in all the villages and they, they are a, a group of a people who are socially, you know, like 10 to 15 people sharing the same cultural space. They are also coming together in a safe space for a change, any change they want to bring and financially, mutually financially support each other. So, you know, like any change happens at one place, happens to the whole group. So we, we started our uh, intervention at a self-help group level. And this is a intervention at a Madhya Pradesh, uh, what we are doing in a rural area. Um, it's it's uh, happening in three blocks of Madhya Pradesh, in three districts, which is uh, Barwani district, Jabua, and Parampur. And the multiple sector experts have come together and they are all NGOs. The NGOs who are working on livelihood, NGOs who are working in nutrition and health, education and governance. Governance, what I mean is Panchayat. Uh, livelihood is an organization who has like history of 10 to 15 years of uh, mobilizing the community for agricultural livelihood. So the ground is ready, you know, it's, it's not that you are going to the rural area and starting from the scratch. You are going to the place where the people are already working since last 10 to 15 years, have done a lot of work in livelihood. So three NGOs who are expert in nutrition and health, which Chetna is doing, education and governance. Now, this model is happening in Madhya Pradesh, but again, it is it is there in other geographical area also in uh, West Bengal, in Jharkhand, in many places. And different NGOs are involved in it. It's a very process heavy uh, intervention, but we have realized that it has so much of a potential to show the sustainable change. So from each village, what we have done is that uh, we have selected a woman who wanted to work as a change maker and we call them such a jijis. Now to select this women, we have a visiting exercise. We go to the villages, sit with the women of a self help group, explain the whole intervention that what we want to do to bring a change in health and nutrition status of your community, your women, your children, you know, and that whole visioning exercise lead to volunteer them to work with us. Now, when I say volunteer with us, that means two women will work for health and nutrition, two for education, two for panchayat. So six to eight women come forward from each self-help group and they join with us. So like from 188 villages, we have selected 415 women who has a leadership quality and who are ready to work with us. Now, uh, the project aims to train these women in health and nutrition aspect 
and also to develop or strengthen their leadership quality so they can monitor the quality of the services at the village level. So they become a, a major change maker and mobilize the community to access the services from the public programs. Now to start with, the NGOs who are working in the field of health and nutrition since many years and very senior NGOs came together and they develop a training module. Now the whole process of developing module was very intense. Each exercise was selected, tried out, and people who have already used it. So a lot of energy, time has been invested in development of those modules. And majority of there are illustrated modules with a lot of exercise. And uh, they are being translated in different languages geographically as uh, needed. Um, and then, then the training started. Now, you know, like when, when, the, when the visioning exercise was happening, women were very enthusiastic to join. But when every time they have to come for the training program, it was big challenge, you know, whether they would like to do such kind of a work voluntary without any money. Now, that was a big question for us, how to motivate them. And then we introduced a concept of a three banks. Now, in your village, if you see women are working for the um, community, they also work for a spiritual work, like they have a bhajan mandali and all that. So, you know, they, they are doing a lot of voluntary work, but this work they see differently. So we try to introduce a concept of a bank, which is very simple, you know, like a bank where you deposit money, a bank, social bank where you you know, get a respect, you help your family, other families, your community, and spiritual bank, which we have said that whatever you are doing in Bhajan Mandali is you are just praying a God. But if you help the whole community to improve their health and nutrition is also a spiritual work. So this concept, a simple concept, help a lot and they have come forward. And to be frank, you know, they are working so well without any money, but a lot of respect they have gained from the community. And they have, means there are stories now floating with us of a change they are bringing in their community. The training, as I said, we believe in empowerment. So the training started with gender equality and then followed to the nutrition. Now, gender equality, a simple exercise which we have develop which tell them that during a conception the sex of the child get decided by the sperm and not by the ovum now that simple exercise has helped them so much that any time you go there it it, it, it made them means how to explain you it, it really open their mind that for so many generation they have been blamed for the sex of the child, which has been such a simply told them. And they were quite excited to understand that, you know, they are not, they are not responsible for all that. And the change start, you know, it, you just need a spark and that the whole equality and empowerment process started. And there are many, many more exercises for gender equality, which has helped them to come out of their stereotype uh, um, role. Now in a nutrition, uh, we have done a simple exercise of three rangi thali, which in our last presentation also said the colors are very important. So we bring, ask them to bring a local food and from that you develop a thali, which is minimum having a three colors. When you have a three colors, that means your food is nutritious. A simple exercise of knowing your hemoglobin, you know, whether you are anemic or you are healthy. So this is a mirror which they see it. They also check each other's um, uh, uh, tongue and the nails to understand whether they are anemic or not. And they discuss whether they get tired. You know, there are many simple ways of teaching them nutrition and health. Now here they are learning about maternal health. So each activity 
is developed in such a way that they have to physically get involved in learning process. It is not that they just listen to us. They have to physically get involved and that helps a lot in a, a learning process. After they learn from us, they go to the villages and sit with other self-help group members and teach them what they have learned. So the, each woman will go to that group of 10 to 15 women and talk to them what they have learned. It might be a small group also. While they are going through this process, there is a regular mentoring support where our team goes, sit with them, what challenges they are facing, how they want to you know, bring change in their education process because this training is also not easy you know that if, if if they can't do a residential then we have done at a cluster level so there are many changes have taken place based on the suggestion we have received from them now while while we are working with self-help group and they are trying to bring change at a family level there is a need to create a supportive environment at a village level because whatever they are learning they try to implement, but there is a lot of uh, hurdles to take it further to the other families. So we have started doing a awareness activity, mass awareness activity at a village level, which is also uh, uh, very interactive. Here it is the snake and ladder game where they have to stand and you know learn about nutrition and health, which has created a supportive environment for such ages in the villages. We did a training program for ASHA, Anganwadi, and ANMs because we have realized that there's a lot of gap in the coordination between these three frontline workers. And uh, they, in this, while they are doing the training, the Sachet Cities was also joined of that particular villages. So a group of four has become a very, very interactive to bring a change at a village level. Now, the simple changes which are coming forward, like at each village, they have started developing a portion vatika. Now, these portion vaticas are, you know, the local vegetables they are growing there. They are making like boundaries with the help of asaris, you know, all local things they are doing. And now some places they are doing, making vaticas for their uh, kitchen garden next to their houses. In some places, if there is a common plot, they are using it. And then they are doing a barter system, you know, to change the um, vegetables. So there are 400 vegetable gardens of different sizes developed during a uh, time period. They also go to Anganwadi's for a review, whether, you know, it is working, functioning properly or not. Anganwadi workers come on time or not, whether it opens on time or not, whether the supplementary food are given properly or not. So they learn about the system, they learn about the entitlements, and then they review it. They regularly visit the Anganwadi's, try to see whether walls are, you know, that is the details are been put on the wall or not. Now in, in Madhya Pradesh, there is a Gram Arogya Kendra. Now, if you can see visually, they are in such a bad conditions, you know. Now, the Sachet Gigi has taken this issue at a uh, block level along with the team members and presented the situation and they have tried to make the changes. You can see the kind of a change they have made. Though it is a very simple, but there is a change made by them. They also be a part of a village health and nutrition day. And they have mobilized huge number of pregnant women and lactating mothers and children who have never used to come for uh, VHNDs. So major work they have done is mobilizing these people and also work very closely with a &M. And by doing that, the whole concept of education, health and nutrition education has been incorporated into VHNDs. The counseling has been started. Very undernutrition children, they have uh, identified and they have taken to the nutrition rehabilitation centers. They have been admitted there. And very interestingly, in one village, few of the families who are very, very poor were not ready to go to NRC because they said they will lose the 
wages daily wages in those villages they have generated a fund for those children to feed them extra so many many things they have done which has uh, helped to uh, bring changes and these are done by themselves and there's no intervention done by the project team um, and the last thing which is the very very important is that we are working very actively with panchayat uh, the panchayats are every year develop a village development plan usually in this plan community doesn't get involved so we have started getting women involved in developing a village development plan and bringing the health and nutrition issues in the plan and this plan is get displayed in panchayat bhavan and all the difficult things whatever challenges they have written had been written there and whenever there is a change they tick mark it that okay this is solved and simple thing you know what changes they have brought is they have brought changes in timings of psc they have brought changes like they all the vacancies of um, medical officer or anm or anganwadi workers are there they have been able to fill it so these are all done through panchayat once they present it into panchayat the panchayat then take a lead along with them so the women have started attending gram sabhas we have started training the standing committee of panchayat which on health and nutrition there is a specific committee who addresses the issue of health and nutrition so they are been trained so the sachet ji ji and this committee they go together at a block level to present the cases of their villages and then they solve those uh, issues and we are in a regular coordination with block health department and icds department and this as i said these are some of the uh, solution they have brought forward and because these changes have taken place because of such a gg the such a ggs have got such a respect in the village wherever you go and talk about the such a gg all the village people are really even the men also now see them with a respect that because of this center group of women we have been able to bring change in the community now this this whole thing has taken place with a model of a ngos now what we have done since last year is that the same model has been done in a government setup with a state livelihood mission so we are working in six blocks of madhya pradesh 420 villages until in a one year we have trained about 1000 such ggs so the scale is now become big because we are working with a state government and state department so this is this is what we feel that if we can socially mobilize the people especially the women and empower them the sustainable change can take place and i am quite confident that after we leave from this villages the change will continue in the ngo uh, model where we have almost in two places we have withdrawn ourselves things are going on the such as gg's are bringing change the panchayat is become very active to bring change in health and nutrition thank you thank you ma'am for the wonderful presentation